another delay whilst I've removed five gigabytes. That that's good because I'd remember I'd I kind of forgotten the punchline that I had in my I had the punchline in my head last night. Let's start with the punchline. So ten days ago, a week ago, I'm two miles down there at the seat. And I have a text flurry with my daughter. First time since this event. It seems okay. She doesn't say, oh, you've been arranged for deep, for communicating with me in the past. No, it's a completely naturalistic, I, I knew it wasn't gonna work. So you can almost call that your, <laughs> well, that wipes everything out. But it's tragic. And the fact that somebody from the state tried that. I mean, let's be crystal clear. Because actually, you see, this five minutes now is all that matters. This is what matters. So the event described in the last three sections. Apart from the personal tragedy, it's like... My one beloved family, I'm going to end up in a court case against them? What on earth? How do I deal with that? Well, I'm probably just going to have to not deal with it and just like, I don't want to put her through that. Never, I mean, by, by this time in life, because I'd had three and a half years, three years, three winters certainly, of being on the verge of death, real proper death. But more importantly, knowing the NHS was so contemptuous. Forget it, I stopped going to For the last year, I just like, forget it. Let's, this will take its natural course. Come to terms with it. Meet your maker. Make your arrangements. So I actually spent a year boxing up everything, cleaning everything before boxing it up because everything where I lived had a patina of mould. Just protect things, store them away for when, when I felt up to it. Other times, try and bodily keep myself going. But here's, here's the key thing, here's the key thing. So, I mean, that was so horrific, but then also there's the aspect of, I very much doubt there have been many charges like that in Britain. And me, rather well known as a child campaigner, uh, it would have certainly been the front of the local newspapers and although I haven't had television for many years, would have been on their television, probably in some national newspapers too. No, almost certainly. <laughs> in fact, half a page at page two wouldn't have surprised me. I am horrified. So it doesn't matter if you know it's all wrong and almost certainly being used yet again to try and destroy you. So, I repeat, three and a half years. For three and a half years, so this is March 19, uh, 2018. Yeah, this knock on the door. And it had also been a particularly cold spring, or was a particularly cold spring. So I'd had two winter, uh, three winters where I'd been absolutely flawed. And it would get a bit better in the summer, but not always. There were periods of the summer where I was flawed also. Really, really, really hard and kind of as well as as well as some straightforward bugs coming in. I may have even had a I don't care. It may, may have been something men enjoy to see. See if I if I go and stand there, these blokes are gonna be staring. If I put the camera like that, they probably can't see the camera. Right. So I'd had, yeah, basically for two thirds of the last three and a half years prior to March 2018, my whole body was utterly buggered. Most of the time on government sick pay of £65 a week and it doesn't get paid all the time. The paperwork, you're constantly worried. You get some gobbledygook letter. Oh, the last fit note we got. Um, is expiring so you put your next one in and then your payments stop it's just a fucking nightmare 
periods of time without food for uh, three or four days. Totally accepted. There's no help. It's a joke. Right. So, there I was, third winter, really physically bad. This terrible event happens. And something like that takes you about a week to get it. Just, just be, get slightly back to normal after the first shock. And I started to, I was so disgusted, no not disgusted, it's the wrong word. I was so utterly floored by what has life come to? You know, what, yeah, I, I knew, okay, I'll get over this in six months. It may be the six months from hell if for some reason it ends up in a trial. I mean, what do I do? It's like, because that's the hardest bit, not knowing what to do. Knowing the lawyer was just such a joke. I deliberately didn't call him. He said he was going to call me. He didn't call me. I called him the day before I was scheduled to go to court. Sir, how are you doing? Oh, you hadn't called us. We assumed you'd, your case had ended. Yeah, and that's a lawyer I knew. Yeah, let's name the fat fucker Michael Davis and I record all my phone calls. Right, quickly, quickly, quickly. Bodily. So, March, because I'd had a knock on the door and I was just feeling so bereft, despite feeling so ill, I just would go out for hours walking. Or rather, I'd go out, I'd want to be out of my place. What if there's going to be another knock on the door? Right? I'd want to be out, and the only way of keeping warm was to walk. So, my walking rate, which would have been about 15 miles a week, 25 kilometres a week at that point, kind of increased, maybe almost doubled. Even though I was feeling terrible. Anyway, May, go to court, it's, it's not even thrown out, that's the wrong way of putting it. It's there's, there's the, the level above being thrown out. They were so disgusted that this was put against me, they laughed at it. But still, you still feel shit. What's my poor daughter thinking? Anyway, a week or two later, I started to notice all my illness was just going. Now, here's the big, the only thing in life I don't understand. And this is almost gonna sound wankish. So I say to people, silver lining, wonderful silver lining, saved my life probably. The extra walk, that extra certainly increasing my physical activity a week by 50%, if not more, over three or four months. Supercharged my own immune system, so my own immune system kicked out, including um, a, a year-long bladder or kidney infection, which was so embarrassing also. So it's kicked it away. But then a few months later, it's like I said to myself, as a month or two later it had all gone, so, God, this is weird. It's almost like if there are shaman spirits. Now, this is definitely not saying anything negative about my only beloved flesh and blood. It's almost the exact opposite. But it's almost like it's bizarrely coincidental. So I had this period, 2015, 16, 17, when in parallel with, for the only time in my life, having a it, well, there were sim there were real symptoms. Glands were always up. Actual physical stuff colonising up there that could be seen under the doodah, the endoscopy or whatever it's called, and proper symptoms. But it's like this period though coincided with. It's almost like if there is a, a shade, a darkness, as the Spanish say. A, 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 a malevolence of the spirits. My daughter was being used against me for three years to heart. And during that period, but it wasn't psychosomatic, it categorically wasn't psychosomatic. In fact, I already. Anyway, the, the detail doesn't matter. But it's almost like that possibility of love when actually things were so damaged already by 2010 possibility of love was such a big malevolent thing 
But as soon as it was removed forever, because at the conclusion of that, I don't think anybody, she couldn't pick up the phone up and say, well, it's not sorry, because she was manipulated. So oh, that was all a bit of a mess, but it's uh, over. How you doing, old fella? Yeah, that's never going to happen. Not in Britain. I mean, it should happen. That's when your authorities should say, hey, didn't you been to a bit of an unnecessary mess here? You guys, let's get you together for a cup of tea. That's what a civilised society does. Not in Britain, ever. Ever. We are semi-fascist. We are cr Because there's millions of people being put into these completely inappropriate legal things. It's just evil. I repeat, that's when your local policeman or liaison person picks up the phone and says, Hey, let's just fix this or turn it into a cup of tea. Water under the bridge. No, that does not happen in Britain. And that is against, that's anti-humanist. That's disgusting. It never happens in any legal framework. Even for Mr. Micklinson or whatever his name is. No one's ever going to do that with him. No one's going to say, why don't you sit down and have a cuppa with the woman who accidentally picked you out of the noodle. Anyway, but it's like, if there's magic, if there's some weird forces, who knows? In a way, that kind of malevolence of that period, three years, it's not my daughter's fault. Maybe that was like a cancer. And when it was gone, the possibility, that hanging on, the possibility of something healthy, when that was completely smashed away, I just suddenly got better. And I don't know, that's, that's to me, taking body-mind too far, because that imputes something that's not quite right and might cause another person, my daughter, to feel weird or bad. I have no idea, but it just who knows? Maybe there is something more. And maybe sometimes it works on the body in that kind of a way. I don't know. So bucking out of that, just quite simply, this that's the ultimate silver lining. Oh, well, I know for a fact. If it isn't some kind of conspiracy of the metaphysicals or we're all living in a Homeric no novel, uh, a Homeric odyssey. If it isn't that, then like 99% certain, that terrible period, because bereft. I remember I was walking up and it would be deep snow. I was feeling like shit, but it's like, no, oh, I don't want to go home. I might get some more fucking fascists knocking on my door or some, some new weirdness. It's like, no, stay out, stay out, because I was on sick pay. Stay out. I was walking in the snow. Just that shock, or rather that, most terribly depressing, awful, most ima unimaginably horrible period, a few months, causing me to be out a lot, proved to be the thing that pushed me to be walking more, and thus my p natural immune system triggered in, and I could have been dead. I, in fact, I probably would have been dead before. I wouldn't have made it through another winter. My body was so crushed, so ugh, by several pathogens that had made home within me and were staying. That, that's what silver linings are all about. And that's what pushing yourself, in my case, I wasn't voluntarily pushing myself, but pushing your body through the fucking pain barrier and then it fixes itself. That's kind of, to me, the ultimate and my daughter sees this. Thank you, you saved my life. And I'm not j joking, I'm not being tried. It's like three or four months later, Jesus Christ, I've got my life back. I even cycled all the way up to North Wales through Snowdonia. I was back to, it took six months before my back body was fully back at super speed. But if it wasn't for that terrible period, I'd probably be dead. But anyway, the body, so much more interesting than 
medical science can handle. <laughs>